Okay, we're going to take a little break from the normal workout routines and we're going to talk about five reasons why you should be using testosterone boosters. Now, uh, guys use testosterone boosters for a number of reasons. And it's just not me being sexist. I mean, you know, it's more suitable for guys. And women can benefit from test testosterone boosters too, but that's indirectly. That's if their man's taking it. <laughs> okay? So, um, the number one reason you should be using testosterone boosters is uh, increased muscle mass, as, as if some of you should know. Um, I mean, who doesn't want to be fucking muscular and like a badass? Or should I say, who doesn't go to the gym? work out, train hard, lift heavy weights, and want to look like a fucking badass. So um, if you spend your time and your energy working out, then I know you want to see the best results, right? So in order to do that, optimizing your T levels can help you reach um, your, can help you reach your primer far sooner than some guy with a uh, low T two levels. So what I'm saying is, if your testosterone levels are a lot higher, it'll help you reach your full potential of what you're trying to accomplish a lot sooner than an individual who has very, very low testosterone levels, okay? Testosterone, testosterone is your primary anabolic hormone, and that means it's essential for building muscle, period. It's essential for building muscle. So if you want to look like you lift weights, your T levels cannot be low. They cannot be low. Number two, um, increase your gym or sports performance. When you're in the gym and I mean those those days where you feel like your energy levels are low but you still want to work out um, if your energy levels are low if you find that your energy levels are very low um, your enthusiasm is low and that means your T levels are pretty low too so looking good is a goal in itself but lifters also want to not just look good but perform at a high level too I'm sure you all want to perform at a high level I like performing at a high level so in order for you to perform at a high level your T levels need to be high that means that if you want to be able to bench 300 pounds or deadlift 500 or knock out your fucking opponent um, in a single punch, your T levels need to be pretty high. Whatever your physical goals are, your T levels need to be a lot higher. Okay? Okay? Just look at all the slew of sportsmen who get caught every year taking steroids. Remember, this is not a video advocating steroids. I'm not advocating that at all. I'm, I'm promoting your T levels being at a higher level. Okay? Steroids are, by and large, a, a synthetic variant of testosterone. Okay? But testosterone boosters um, help you naturally optimize your own T levels, as where steroids replace them. But the end result is pretty much still the same. You know, so if you take steroids, yes, your performance goes up, the anabolic uh, signaling does go up. Um, but taking t uh, testosterone boosters helps your body produce your own natural testosterone, level, which is what I recommend everyone always do. Okay. Uh, third, and I kind of wrote it down so I can remember it. Third is reduced body fat. Building muscle is one thing, but uh, muscle covered over thick layer of the fat won't look that up. I actually had a guy who uh, messaged me on Facebook and he said, he's, <laughs> he messaged me and goes, how do you get rid of your, your thick skin? I naturally have thicker skin. So I want to know what I should do to get rid of it to show my muscles a little bit more. In my head, I'm thinking you're, you're, you really don't have thick skin. There's no such thing as thick skin. Um, it just means that your body fat is high, your subcutaneous water under your muscles or your skin is showing a lot more, which means you probably have a high salt and sodium diet, and things like that too. But um, that's another subject. But like I said, if you want to reduce body fat, then increase your testosterone levels will help that as well. This is not an issue for like football players or weightlifters. They don't really care. Um, their body fat is low because they need a lot more body fat to lift or perform. So, but for those of you who want to get that lean, lean, lean uh, physique, then testosterone boosters are a must. I notice even for myself, there are times where I stop taking testosterone boosters, maybe for like uh, a month or so, and I notice it completely. But when I start taking it again, I do notice it. I see my face starts to shrink up tight or it gets a little bit tighter, and uh, my ass pop a little bit more. So. Testosterone, as well as being a supreme uh, muscle builder, it also makes a great effect for you burning fat as well. So if you want to lose fat, burn fat easier, then I recommend taking testosterone boosters as well, okay? Number four, and this is always a given, increase your libido. Bow chicka wow wow. You know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Work, 
money worries, commuting, school, family issues, blah, 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 they can all increase stress, you know, increase your stress, stress levels. So, and when that, when your, your stress level goes up, your libido goes down, down. And we want to make sure that it stays up. Number five, countering age-related uh, decline in T levels. As we get older, our T levels will start to slowly decrease. I mean, when we're young, between ages, I believe, um, 20 to 35, your T levels are pretty, pretty high, but um, it all starts to go downhill at around 35. Actually, I've trained a few people in martial arts and um, in the gym with who are ages from 35 to about 40, and they'll say the same thing. Their energy levels are low, especially in the morning. They get home and they, they just feel like they don't want to do anything, they want to move, and that's because the, uh, the instruments that, that make you manly are in short supply, so you need to find ways to increase that test, test level, especially when you get older. So using testosterone boosters can help slow the decline of your, um, the decline by optimizing your body's own ability to produce its T levels, but as long as you constantly work out and constantly train, your T levels should stay pretty high as you get older, but you have to stay consistent. It's just a lot harder to produce them as you get older. So taking T, uh, T testosterone boosters will help that uh, help prevent that decline from increasing and help keep your testosterone um, levels pretty high too. So whatever your okay. So whatever your reasons for taking testosterone boosters, make sure you choose a good product. That's what I always say. Um, right now, I take just two of them that I like. I like Alpha Protocol from Bodybuild.com. Their their platinum series, really good, and. Um, it's it's it, I take it in the morning and then usually um, halfway through the day I'll take another another uh, another serving and then the next one I do like also is test free test free from Pharma. This one is good because you only take it once uh, at night. So if you're if you don't want to have to worry about taking everything in the morning or during the day, all you do is take this before you go to sleep and it helps trigger that anabolic signaling as well. So those are the two that I recommend, Alpha Protocol or Test Freak. Whichever one you use, you know, check out bodybuilding.com. They have lots of list of testosterone boosters for and um, people who have reviews on it. But these are the two that I like. So, but those are the five reasons that you should be taking testosterone boosters. Uh, next video, maybe doing a workout, arm workout.